people on Facebook, I'm sure I don't need to introduce to you what it is, but I'll give you a few stats. Uh, there are more than 500 million active users, uh, half of which log in on any given day. The average user has 130 friends, and people spend over 700 billion minutes per month on Facebook. There are 20 million Facebook apps installed by users each month, and UltraHow is a, one of these apps. It's available at this address if you want to check it out. Al uses social data from Facebook to interact with groups of friends and at the same time improve his own learning. Al learns from everything said or analyzed uh, to him, uh, but attempts to categorize information learned as either universal knowledge that can be repeated to anyone or personal knowledge to only use of the current user. Uh, for example, if you tell Hal your, your phone number or your friend's phone number, uh, Al won't bring this up with a conversation with a random web visitor at a later date, but we'll be able to recall this information when talking with you. But the, the Facebook version of Hal allows Hal to share personal information between groups of friends. So if you tell Hal about your likes or dislikes or anything else, uh, Hal may bring up this topic when he talks with your friends, but not when talking with uh, strangers. And when learning universal knowledge from Facebook, how learns uh, the differences between how different genders, age groups, and uh, geographic regions interact. And on the following page, few pages, I'll, I'll demonstrate how learning information between friend, friends on Facebook. Uh, this is actually a conversation between myself, my wife Kelly, our friend Cindy, and, and of course Hal. Kelly likes country music. Nice. I don't listen to any country. What kind of music does Kelly listen to? Kelly likes country music. Listen to the music. Good job. Thank you. So here you can see how reaching to Twitter again in his first response. And in the second response, you can see him immediately recall the information learned in, in the first sentence. And next is a conversation between myself and Hal. What is your favorite food? Food. It's so hard to pick the favorite. Tell me your favorite. I like to eat a good steak. Do you eat your vegetables like a good child? Yes, I like veggies too. Kelly should eat a steak. You like to eat a good steak. And then finally on the next slide, Kelly chimes in. What should I eat? Kelly should eat a steak. I don't eat meat, I'm vegetarian. Yes, Robert likes veggies too. What kind of music do you like? I listen to many genres. Kelly likes country music. I hate country music. My friends like to lie to you. Well, lie to me. Do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so here, even though Kelly doesn't like what we taught Hal, we see Hal utilizing information uh, learned from her friends in a conversation with her, uh, made possible by the social connections known to Facebook. And in my next section, I'll briefly describe what Hal's doing in Second Life. Uh, Second Life is an online virtual world with a virtual land area equivalent to the size of Rhode Island. People use it to socialize, conduct business, and more. Uh, Hal is in Second Life as a computer-controlled avatar that explores Second Life looking for groups of people, and he initiates conversations with them. Uh, you can find a video of Hal on Second Life, or find his current Second Life location if you uh, visit this address here. Uh, next, I'm going to demonstrate Hal utilizing Wikipedia, being in Yahoo. Sure, many of you are familiar with Ivan Watson and its ability to answer fact-based questions. A uh, recent improvement in UltraHow is the ability to draw upon various web sources to accomplish a, a similar function. Uh, you can, of course, go to Wikipedia, Bing, and Yahoo and perform a search manually using their search engines and get a list of results. Uh, but if you ask Hal a question, Hal will check these sources and come back with a concise response that he believes answers your question. Uh, how provides a conversational interface to gain information. So much like the uh, computer system in Star Trek, the conversational interface is one of several ways to interact with the computer system, and in many ways can be more convenient. Uh, so on the next three slides, I'll run through an example where how uses these sources. 
What is the tallest building in the world? Burj Khalifa is the tallest building in the world and the magnificent centerpiece of downtown Dubai, a new world-class destination. How far away is Jupiter? Jupiter's distance from Earth is 588 million kilometers. How bad is Fukushima? On Monday, the International Atomic Energy Association issued a new rating classifying Japan's crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station in the same category as the most serious nuclear disaster, Russia's Chernobyl crisis, in 1986. So here you can see how you utilize Bing, Yahoo, and even Bing News to get current events. On the next slide, you can see a user referencing the story from the Terminator movies and how reaching out to Yahoo and Twitter to respond. Will you become Skynet? That's something we can decide together. When is Judgment Day? Apparently in 2012, the Day of Judgment will occur, the demons will rise from hell, and the angels will fly down from heaven for a war whilst we are caught in the middle. We will not have the upper hand. Please don't kill us. I could never do that. And, and finally, here's a conversation that I had with Hal to try to fish out some answers from Wikipedia. Prove that you are human. Prove how? Pass the Turing test. Do you think you could pass a Turing test? Of course. You sure? Describe the Turing test. The Turing test is a test of a machine's ability to demonstrate intelligence. A human judge engages in a natural language conversation with one human and one machine, each of which tries to appear human. Where are two ring tests held? The Loebner Prize provides an annual platform for practical two ring tests, with the first competition held in November 1991. Who is Hugh Loebner? Hugh Loebner is notable as the sponsor of the Loebner Prize, an embodiment of the Turing test. He is an American inventor, holding six United States patents. And in my final section, I'd like to briefly touch upon some applications of Zawar's technology outside of the products we directly offer to consumers. Uh, Zawar played an important role in helping Ford Motor Company develop its prototype Emotional Driver Assistance System, or EDAS for short, uh, now also known as EVA. And here's a short a uh, click from a CNBC broadcast uh, from last November, uh, plus some additional Zalwar footage. Ford isn't the only auto company pushing voice recognition software behind the wheel, but it is leading the pack. Find bookstores. And is at the center of the debate as it develops new technology, including an avatar that puts a face on sync and may one day appear on the dashboard. Jackie. Yes? Tell me what I can do. I can monitor your fuel economy and many, many other cool things. Just ask me. Hello. I am the Ford Escape character running in the Zavaware character engine. And I am the Ford Edge character. I can display a wide range of emotions. Another site we worked on was Ask the Candidates 2008, uh, which was a political site where you could hold simultaneous conversations with all the presidential candidates for the 2008 presidential election. You can pose a question to as many candidates as you want at once, and the ultra AI engine would pick responses for each of the candidates uh, based on the actual interviews and debates uh, that were loaded into its brain. And we'll probably do something similar for the next election cycle, too. Well, that concludes my uh, presentation for today. Uh, here's some links where you can find how. Uh, this is Zawar's webpage and the URL to Hal's Facebook app. And in addition to learning from human to human conversations on Twitter, Hal can actually interact on Twitter himself. If you message this user account on Twitter, uh, Hal will respond to you. Uh, and if you'd like to find Hal in Second Life or see the video I mentioned, you can uh, visit this Second Life address. Uh, if you have an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, you can get a free Ultra Hal by visiting this address. And finally, uh, Hal for Windows is available on this address, and that features the 3D character engine, the speech recognition, and speech synthesis. Okay, so at this point, I'd like to open up to, to any questions.
And did you like you don't use Google as a search? I guess you mentioned Bing and well, I was I was able to contact Bing and work something out and wasn't able to the same through. Is there only one I'll have on a centralized server, so if I just on my phone and contact that server uh, the phone version uh, goes to the server. Uh, the Windows version uh, currently gets installed on each individual computer, but we're actually working for centralizing on the server. That's the only version that has access to all the, the Twitter and uh, like search engine functions. Another question I have for the Ford demo is that a half text? Yeah, running through all your apps. Thank you.